Hello everyone, Boater here. I've got an exciting new series of Boater Plays Something that is set to be coming out on Fridays. I do need a little bit more time to get it prepared. In the meantime, I thought that I'd share a couple of things. And the first one that I'm going to share is what was originally going to go on Fridays, and that was The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I was excited to do this, but very quickly became apparent that the first few episodes would be me, how do I play this game, and discovering how to play the game, and what things are, and being a little lost. And then around episode 4 or 5 as I was recording, it was apparent that it's an open world game where I could spend like half an episode's worth just crossing the world to find something else to do. And while that kind of thing can work well on stream, it doesn't really work for pre-recorded Let's Plays. That said, I decided to take the first episode and edit it together, just put something basic together, just to kind of show you, hey, cool, I'm, I've started playing this game. I'm enjoying it, but it's not something that's going to quite work for a Let's Play here. So we're going to call it a one-off. Um, ignore any comments that I make about multiple episodes, but uh, for now, just enjoy The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Boater Plays Something. We are starting a brand new series today on a... Uh, console that I have not used, I have not done with Boater Play something before. Uh, we are on the Nintendo Switch, and today we are going to be playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm excited for this series. Uh, I cannot wait to dig into it. I guess something auto plays at the start, so let's run the intro now, and then I'll meet you guys back here. I'm Boater, let's play something. Pretty shiny. They are. They're, I'm watching. I, c I can see that it's very pretty because my eyes are open. And bright. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Link. Oh, I've been floating in a vat of biogel in stasis for the last 700 years. I don't know. Nice jean shorts. Nice shorts. So I went to go pop this in earlier today just to make sure that I'd be able to record it, and I was like, yeah, I'll just bring it to the main menu, whatever, and this just started auto-playing. Oh, no, oh, close application. I'm expecting a main menu so I can take a picture, but that may not happen. <laughs> I'll, I'll put that away. I think we're just diving straight into gameplay. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a gameplay angle. Camera, okay. Okay. I like that it shows me the position A is at because I'm much more used to Xbox where A, B, and X and Y are switched. <laughs> that is a Sheikah slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Is this going to be a cell phone with, like, GPS and introducing me to all the new technologies after I've been Rip Van Winkle for a while? Oh, no, it's supposed to be your, your Switch that you've got handheld right there. A mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Because if you were playing a handheld, it'd be right here. I'd pull that out to show you, but, I mean, like... That's where it's recording from. I don't think I have a way to record that gameplay while I'm holding it. That'd be... Eh. Anyway. Not seamlessly, anyway. Shh. Can I look around my, uh... My chamber? My bedroom? 
All right, I've looked around. I feel good about that. Let's, uh, let's see what we've got up here. Oh, oh, hey, these are all chests. I didn't see them. They were all like doing their blend in thing. Okay. Let's uh, equip those. Throw on some pants. Oh! That was not. That's ZR down there. Hold on. R is the bumper. Yeet! Okay. Okay. Got a shirt as well. I've apparently grown a little bit uh, since I put these away. Yeah. Anything over here? Anything else to pick up? Anything they're trying to be sneaky and hide from me? Nope. Okay, so I see a temperature gauge at the bottom, I see a map, and I see what looks to be some sort of stealth gauge showing how much uh, noise I'm making. I know little about this game. Um, I mean, I know that it's uh, Zelda meets Skyrim, uh, but aside from that, uh, um, it uh, I actually have never completed a Zelda game before. I started playing Ocarina of Time on the 3DS at one point, uh, but yeah, I think it was Ocarina, but I never finished it. Uh, the only Zelda game I've completed is Okami. That tells you where I'm coming from. Alright, we've got some uh, uh, NFC contact lists. Just a boop there. Good. Um, for those of you watching in the future, this uh, first set of episodes is being recorded during the uh, coronavirus outbreak of 2020, and so contactless everything is very much in vogue. So yeah, very happy that we've got a contactless game here for everything. Link, you are the light. Our light. It looks like you're the light I talking to me. Shine upon high rule once again. Now go. Oh, now I'm the light. Probably shining out from the tomb. Alright, I realized it never synchronized. So I'm going to hit uh, B to go back to the game. That should be close enough. Oh, that is crouch. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Uh, sprint is that. Jump is... That, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm no longer in control. Cutscene time! Oh, and title slide time! Hold on, let me get the, the picture for Yieldy Socials. Yeah? Yeah. There we go. Pretty. I'll show that to you guys too, because, you know, it's got the green uh, backlighting around my TV. Ooh, that looks like a point of interest. Because it is interesting, and the roof comes to a point. And a shady, mysterious person. <gasps> Stick! Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but it can serve as a weapon in a pinch. I'll boop you with the tree branch. That is not run. Okay. I see. Okay. So since there's so many here, clearly durability is going to be a thing. Uh, eat to eat a shroom to restore half a heart. Very nice. Sprint is this one. Okay. Puts the weapon away, but then can pull it back out. Jump. Nice scaling ability. I probably have a uh, cap of how much stuff I can carry, like a weight limit or something, don't I? Eh. Okay. I 
don't... I play very little on the Switch, so it's going to take... I'm probably going to be hitting wrong buttons a little bit now and then. Oh, he just starts climbing without me having to hit... Like, I just run into the wall and he starts going out. Hold on. If I just forward into it... Awesome! I don't need to actually hit jump for him to start scaling a wall. That's nice. Oh! Oh! Is that something we're going to want to... Well, let's find out. Wee! Look out below! Excuse me, sir. I am... I am... Link, friend of Boulder. And who might... Oh, jeez. Okay, you have fun down there, Boulder friend. I'm going to go talk to Campfire friend. Direct you to soften and sweeten this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. I, I meant to speak to you and not just take your apple. Oh. Oh, please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. It is a bit strange to see another soul in these... And who are you? Me? Well, I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. Please stay six feet away, just to be safe. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Uh, where are we? Where exactly is the place like this? Because I definitely remember being put to sleep, but apparently not any of the circumstances around it. Answering a question with a question. Oh, that's some next-level shit there, Sonny. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. Apparently I'm becoming more Sean Connery with every passing sentence. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. <laughs> yeah, I might have been going more for Deckard Cain, but Sean Connery's not that far off. Hmm. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago... Oh, screw it, we'll just go full Connery. It is sat abandoned in a state of decay. At least as full Connery as I can go. Huh? Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Okay, well, I'm going to take this back here because that seems like... This torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. Well, that seems reasonable. Well, just help yourself to that torch there, and how, may I ask, are you planning to use it? I was planning on using it as a torch to light the way. It's a secret. Well, as a weapon, certainly. Innovative. However, that is probably best used to light fires. If you need a weapon, you can find something better. Many beasts roam the land past this point. You can take my axe with you if you please, assuming you can find it. Well, that's what I thought I was grabbing, was an axe back here, but I guess not. How would you not just swing it around without purpose? You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. I should hold that to lock on. Oh, well, very, uh, very good to know. Uh, can I? Oh, excellent, I can. Show an uncooked apple. Excellent. I can't just climb trees. Oh, that's... Okay, okay, I'm not going to keep doing that voice. That voice actually hurts my head a little bit, but... Eh. Link. Stop, stop talking to me, I want to get this apple. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Yeah, in a minute. Ah. Yeah, in a minute. No, not... Mm. Take. There we go. Uh, okay, so... Gotta look at our map. Open adventure log. We've gotta follow the Sheikah Slate. Okay. That's out there somewhere. Looking for this man's axe. Hmm. I'm relaxing by the fireside, of course. Although I need to cook myself another baked apple at some point. Simple food such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them on a fire makes them tastier and more nutritious. How do I... I don't know if I can use your fire for that. Oh, I found his axe! No, Boater, stop trying to use that all the time. A woodcutter's stool of choice of felling trees. Its formidable weight and uneven balancing make it a slow, inefficient weapon. Oh, it's a throw weapon. Can 
Can I cancel a throw? Uh, basic controls, ability, con no. Throw weapon, maybe put away? Yes, if I hit put away, then uh, it'll, you know, put it away. Uh, so let's switch to the axe. I probably don't need to collect every damn apple along the way. Nope. Oh, whatever. I'm sure I'll be fine. Don't need to collect everything, Boater. It's okay. Oh, that's a that's a big flipping axe. All right. Oh, hi. What's my attack button again? Oh, that is a slow weapon. Hello. You got, you got stuff just falling off you. Oh, that's where that tree branch came from. Okay. And since it's down, I think that means that that's going to be less effective than a currently equipped weapon. Not that it's damaged in any particular fashion. No. Okay. No! Oh, not what I wanted to do. Oh. Uh, another tree branch. Oh, hello. Ah, I should have picked it up instead of destroying it. A gelatinous substance that came from a choo-choo. It's unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. So, like, fire? Or water or something? I don't know. Is it is it the Eevee of, uh, tools? Um... Eh. Eh. Alright, so this, this is in a slightly busted barrel. So maybe it just won't. Now it is. Roasted bird drumstick. Raw bird drumstick that's been cooked to a crisp, to a crisp skin and all. It's devoid of seasoning, but it's a simple, accessible taste. It restores more hearts to the raw variety, and probably won't poison me. How much is platforming a thing? How much is, like, jumping from area to area? Jumping is that button. Okay, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Oh, you've got a club of some sort. Ah, take that so you can. Boko club. A crude Bavokan club made to clobber small prey. It's essentially a stick, so its durability is low. Oh, that is a thing! I was like, can I do an attack from a jump? And the answer is yes! Ow. I don't know what block is. Get, I, camera? Camera? Alright, you want me to, like, lock onto things. Oh, that's, that's throw. Well, okay, we'll yeet that. Oh, no! Throw a weapon at an enemy to perform a critical hit, dealing twice the weapon damage. Old man, I broke your axe already! I'm sorry! Um... What is, what is lock on? What? There we go. Oh, that, oh, that attacks much faster than the axe. That was nice. Take another one of those. Ooh, chest. Hylian trousers. Okay, much, much better. I think these are even like full length. Oh, uh, hold on. Gotta equip. There we go! And, like, with better boots! Um. Okay. Alright, we need to head out this way. That temple is, like, there. But the slate wants us to go this way. So, sure, we'll keep uh, making our way over here. Ooh! 
another boulder friend. Uh, we've got, let's see, is there a button that is... Um, button for, like, a quick inventory thing? No, that's weapons, move, no, so we'll just do this. Um, food, all I need is a half a heart, so we may as well just, uh, eat that. Then we're gonna drop this boulder on our new friends down there. Oh, I thought I'd have to climb the wall. Alright, cool. Hey, for stairs! That's not sprint. That's sprint. There we go. Look up below! <laughs> okay. Uh. Eh. I. Okay. Seared steak. Oh, very nice. I can't carry any more melee weapons. Okay, so there is just a limit to the number of weapons that I can hold with that. That's fine. Um, so let's drop a bunch of the uh, tree branches. Couple new uh, friends up here, and our objective spot is closing in. So. I don't immediately attack when I hit the attack button and the weapon's slung, so we'll unsling this, get this ready. Hey, fools, what's up? I was gonna say, you've got a ranged weapon, look at you. Oh, I cannot, I cannot attack without a weapon in hand, okay. And it does not pause while I... It does pause, okay, cool. Give me your ranged weapon, please. It's made by taking any tree branch and just tying a string to either end, so don't expect much in the way of combat effectiveness. Equip a bow, and then it's like a thrown item. But, you know, it's a ranged weapon instead of me hucking it, I assume that I'm just gonna throw an arrow. And it's smart enough to know the difference. As opposed to Dark Souls, which uh, really pissed me off, because if I wasn't holding it just right... Well, that's fine, because I got better things. We got a shield. And a Traveler's Sword. That's... Okay, cool, so that's ranged. Er, so that's uh, doing that. Okay, Severed Horn of a Boboken. Um, and some arrows. Nice. Okay, so the slate has led us here, and I think that we'll uh, boop it with our contactless uh, NFC uh, tablet next episode. Leave a comment below, let me know if you're also excited for this. If you just stumbled across this, feel free to subscribe to see more uh, videos. Let's Plays going out every week, as well as other random stuff as I see fit. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody! All right, I did some editing towards the end there, but uh, again, like I said, this is not going to be a full series. It is uh, just one episode, a one-off, just kind of, it's there, it's out there. Uh, next week will be another uh, one-off game, and then hopefully after that we will have a series ready to go. So again, if you want to see one-offs, series, whatever else I come out with, uh, subscribe right down below, youtube.com slash butterbug, and follow all the other links that I just said there. Thanks, and I will see you soon.